Hello boys and girls. I'm going to help you complete your computer activity four where we review loops. So for puzzle one, we need to get scrap to the acorn using only three blocks. So we have one, two, three. Option A has moved forward inside of a repeat block for five. Let's see if that gets scrap to the acorn. It does. So your answer for puzzle one is A. All of these activities are under lesson 11 in code.org. So if you can log into your code.org account from home, you can complete lesson 11 online. If not, just complete the worksheet and send me an email of it. For puzzle two, we need to get scrap to the acorn using eight blocks. There are actually two ways to complete this puzzle, but only one answer is right on your worksheet, either A or B. So for the letter A starts with a move forward, turn left, and then a turn right, and then a repeat, move forward, three times, then a turn right, and a move forward. Let's see if that gets scrapped to the acorn. No, he fell apart into the water on the very first move forward because he's already facing this direction, so that can't be the right answer. Option B has him starting with a turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward three times, turn right, move forward. Let's try this one. Much better. So the answer for puzzle two is B. Okay, for puzzle three, we need to use 12 blocks. Remember, we don't want Scrat to end up in the water. And we also can't let him get on these broken blocks of ice because he will fall through. So option A starts with a move forward three times inside of a repeat loop. Then a turn right and a move forward. And a turn left and a move forward. Another turn right, and then we're going to repeat a move forward for three. Remember, using the pink repeat blocks helps you save on the number of blocks you need to use. Then a turn right, and a move forward. Let's see if Scrat can make it to the acorn with option A. Perfect. So since we know option A is the answer for puzzle three, we don't need to try option B. Okay. okay, now for puzzle four, this is actually from a different lesson, so you won't see this in lesson 11 if you're doing it online. But we need to know what happens to Scrat when we would run this code. So your choices are either uh, nothing, Scrat will not move at all, Scrat will move forward three times, turn, then move forward three more times, making it to the acorn. Or C, Scrat will move forward, then turn and crash. So we have a repeat of three move forwards. One, two, three. A turn left, and then another move forward three times. One, two, three. So following this code means that letter B Scrat will move forward and he will make it to the acorn. So your answer for puzzle four is letter B. Scrat will move forward three times, then move forward three more times, making it to the acorn.